my other ones. So again, let's look at to, if we're trying to change line, and obviously, guys, we've done tons of these, right, with just regular differentiation. We know we need to find x, the y, which we're provided because we have to for implicit. And then we just need to find the derivative. So our main case here is we need to find the derivative of this crazy equation. But actually, when we get into it, it's not like that bad. Here, we're just dealing with a chain rule, right? So when we take the derivative, I'm going to have 6 x squared plus y squared to the first, then times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be 2x plus 2y dy dx. 2y. And then d over dx here, I have to do the product rule. Um, I can take the 100 out, or I can just leave, I'm just going to leave the 100 as a coefficient in each one. And if it's OK with you guys, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do the product rule kind of a little bit more in my head. Because you know when you have like two linear terms, like it's not too bad. Because the derivative of x is just 1. So that would be 100y plus 100x dy dx. OK, to get to this point. Anybody have any variations or want me to check my work or anything else? But I think at this point, everybody should have gotten to this. We at least have practiced enough product rule with implicit. And we haven't really done anything like this chain rule, but I mean, still, it's the same respect. Now, oh, that's multiply 2. Do you guys remember that tip I gave you on that first problem? Like, you could solve for dy dx. But to solve for dy dx, you have to distribute this times both of these terms. And then you have to get the dy dx over to the same side and blah, 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 blah. Well, guys, we already know what x and y is. We already know x and y. So in my opinion, it doesn't really make much sense. To, it's not saying what's the equation of the slope, like write the linear equation. No, it's saying what's the equation of the slope at the point 3, 1. So all we got to do then is just plug in those points, <laughs> bless you, and evaluate for dy dx. Now it's still like not like, still, uh, yeah, it's not like there's no work that's involved, but I would say it's much easier this way than having to go through all the work of solving. Because you're really doing, that's really what you're doing anyways when you do this. So let's go ahead and simplify here. So we have um, 3 squared is 9 plus 1 squared is 10. So it's going to be 6 times 10 times uh, 6 plus 2 dy dx um, equals 100 plus 300 dy dx. I'm just showing like a couple steps in my work so you guys can follow along with me. You guys can show as much work as you would possibly need. Um, and then over here, this is going to be 60. So therefore, if you distribute that, you'd have 60 times 6, which is 360. 60 times 2, which is 120. And then now we can just go ahead and solve and get them to the same side. So I'll subtract 100 on both sides. And I'll subtract 120 dy dx on both sides. So therefore, this becomes 260 equals 180 dy dx. Divide by 180. Divide by 180. Zeros basically divide out. 18 divided by 2. Let's see, I can break that up into dividing by 2, right? Which would be. Let's see, no, let's see, it'd be 13, 13 ninths. So dy over dx equals 13 ninths. So therefore, if I wanted to write the equation, it's going to be y minus y1 equals 13 ninths times x minus 3. OK? So there's nothing.